Hello everyone, this is Kenneth Brini from Cambrotech. At Cambrotech, we say learn programming, you can do it. So in this tutorial, we're going to design this interface. So this interface is um, a My Team section that can be part of a main website. Now what you see over here is we have three cards and inside each card we have team members. And for this team member, we have Lawrence Berry. Now when you hover around this, you can see that the image pops up. And when you hover around this, you can see that this also pops up. And same as the other images now we have some fonts or some icons over here it list out one of the key things about website design these days is to make designs that are responsive so what we have over here is responsive so if the screen size should change if we kind of have a tablet this is how we are going to view things over here and when we have a smaller screen device like a phone this is what you have and everything remains intact as far as the styling is concerned so we are going to start with our design all right so to begin with um i have a folder here and inside this folder i have a media folder or a media subfolder that has the three images we have on our design then you also have um the styling.css and a team.html so i'll open this up in vs code and this is what you have so far we don't have anything so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put out the um, HTML templates and I'm going to change title to our team. And when I save this and open with live server. So now we have this opened in live server and we can see our title has changed to my team. So I'll come back here and come and put out the markup so that we we'll start working. In order to get this done, I'm going to put out an HTML semantic tag section and this is going to be like um, a portion of a bigger website so this is going to be a session where it's going to have the my team the entire my team so I'm going to say an h3 and the h3 is going to have a class of team dash text and inside team dash text I'm going to say our team then under it there's an um underlining over there so we'll have it in a span and we are going to give it a class of border later on we are going to style it inside our css so this is going to be the upper part of our website so now we are going to go inside a div tag and i'm going to put out a div tag over here with a class of our team so this is going to be a div tag and inside this is going to be our team and inside our team i'm going to have the various cards so i'm going to have card and inside card i'm going to have a div of member img so member img is going to contain the image so for the first one i'm going to say dash four slash media and inside media i'm going to use choose the first image over there now when we come back here we are going to see that the image is very big we are going to start things up over here the image is very big so outside this member img div i'm going to also put out another div with a class of bio so inside bio you are going to have the name and other things so first of all you're going to have the h3 tag and for now let's just type in name and you're also going to have an h4 the first position we had was managing director so right under bio we are going to have the social media icons so i'm also going to give it um, a class of social then inside this is going to be the various social media icons we saw over there but in order to get this done we need to import font awesome because we used font awesome icons we go back into our browser and go to the font awesome um, web page now inside the font awesome web page you need to first of all sign in now i have already signed in so i can just come here and um, click on font awesome cdn and what i can do is i can just click on this to copy it come back into vs code and come and paste it inside my head um, inside the head tag of 
my HTML document. So now I have fonts or some over here. So now let's say you want the Facebook icon, so you can come and search for Facebook over here. And there you go, you have the Facebook icon over here. So here we click on it and we click on the HTML to copy it. So before I paste it, it's going to be a link tag. And for the purpose of this work, it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm going to paste it inside this link tag. And I'm also going to give it a class as far as the link tag is concerned. I'm going to give it a class of social dash icon. And I'm also going to give it a particular class of FB to represent Facebook. We have quite a number of things over here. So basically this is a name and this is a managing director we have over here. And this is our icon um, from Font Awesome. So now I would want to go into um, our CSS and start applying some styling to it. So what I'll do in CSS is, um, first of all, I need to link it up. And in order to do that, you have to come inside our HTML document and inside the head, you put out a link tag over here. And this is going to reference to our styling.css. So now you can come here and apply styling. So first of all, you're going to grab the body. And for the body, I'm going to do a pattern of zero margin of zero and I'm going to choose a font family of Helvetica and the last thing I'm going to do as far as the body is concerned is to pick up a color for the body so I'm going to say background and for background color I'm going to choose the hazardesmal 3b 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 now, if you should save it and come back here, yes, we can see the color behind it, but then the picture is still too big. And that's because we need to resize the picture. So in order to do that, you can see that we give it a class of member IMG. So we can grab this class, member IMG. And we are going to do two things over here. So we are going to do a member IMG. And we are going to give it a width, a width of 300 pixels. And we are also going to see a height, a height of 300 pixels. Later on, we'll come back into this part of our CSS and apply um, a bit more styling to it. Now, I'm also going to copy this and duplicate it over here. By this time around, I'm going to grab the image tag in it. So when I save it and come back here, we can see that the image has been resized. What we did first was to create some kind of a div container do a resize and also grab the image itself and do a resize of it. And that's basically what we see over here. So what I'm going to do next is, since we have this layout, um, some kind of the general layout done, now we can go back into our index.html and add the other markup and see how things goes. So what I'm going to do is, this is the social media icon for Facebook. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a shift alt and a down arrow key to duplicate it as we see over here. In order to change the icons, um, font or something is quite simple and you can actually memorize some of the um, names of the icons. So for instance, you can see that this is Fab FA and we have Facebook F over here. So Instagram is just going to be Instagram. And if you want to have Twitter, you can just change this to Twitter. And I think the next one is going to be Google. I think we use only four, so I need to clear this up. All right, so you have four over here. Now, when I save and come back here, you can see that you have the icons laid out over here so we are almost through with this so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to grab everything in this card because this card contains everything and i'm going to do Control c Control v and duplicate it three times and the only things you are going to change are the images for now so for instance this is the first one it has the image over here then this is going to be the second one 
and this is going to be image three and that's basically what we have over here we have member one member two member three so i just changed the names over here and when we come back into this page we can see that we have these names over here now in order to give them names um i found a website that was uh, pretty much interesting as far as generating random names are concerned so i'll leave the link in the description below but then there's the website random name generator so you can come back you can come here and as you can see it kind of gives you the option so for instance if you want to generate um, 100 names or uh, whichever number that you want so we want 10 names and we just want um, male and females so you can click on it and it generates these names for us so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this um, the first one is going to be ls becker so i'll grab ls becker and come and change it over here so we have our name over here and that's how i got the names actually and ls becker is a managing director i think the next one was a male so for the male we can choose lawrence berry to so control c and Lawrence Berry is over here. And Lawrence Berry was the creative creative director. Then the last one, let's choose Deborah Harrison. So I'll copy this and come and paste it here. And she was a liaison officer. All right, so when I save this and come back here, we don't need this. We don't need this anymore. So I'll close it. So the next thing we are going to do is to start things up over here. Now that you have all the markup in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this class over here, our team. Because our team is taking care of everything as far as the cars are concerned. The cars are within the our team class. So I'll grab our team and come here. And I'm going to do a display. A display grid for our team now when i do this and save you can see that our team is where it is but then if i should add grid um, templates grid template columns and i'm going to say repeat and for the repeat i'm going to say auto fit and i'll choose a main max and for main max, I'll say um, 20 rem 1 fr for the fraction demarcation. So that's basically what we have. And immediately we have the, it is kind of responsive one way or the other. So for instance, if we should um, increase things up over, you can see that things are a little bit responsive. We can only improve it as far as this is concerned. So what are I would also want to do is I want to specify a grid gap. So for grid gap, I'm going to say one rem. Now you have this our team over here that we need to uh, put somewhere in the middle and style. So as far as that class is concerned, that's the team text. So I'm going to grab team text. And what I can do is to do a text align center so when i do text align center you can see that it is centered in here then i'm also going to change the font size so i can do font size and a font size of 40 pixels then i can also change the color so the color i'm going to choose white and i'm also going to give it a margin I'm going to give it a margin of 15 pixels. And so far, this is what we have. For now, let's do the border. And as far as this border is concerned, um, it's a span um, element, and span uh, elements are inline elements. So, for the purpose of this, let's do a display block. So, when I do display block, what I can do next is I can specify a width of 160 pixels. Then I'll do a height 
for height. I'm going to say three pixels because I don't want it too big. Then I'm going to say background. Um, I'm going to choose the hexadecimal zero zero. Um, I think C three FF. All right. So this is the color I wanted. So now when I save this and come here, you can see that the border is showing up over here. But then this at the middle here. So in order to put it here, we need to give it a margin and it is very simple. We are just going to say margin auto. So margin auto is going to place it right at the middle. Now, as you can see, this is so stacked to the top over here. And it's all because of the R team, because this is taking care of everything as far as the cards are concerned. So we can see we want to give a margin top. We want to give a margin top of 30 pixels. Now, when I save this and come back here, you can see that things are beginning to shape up. So one of the things um, I also realized is that the first image is stacked, I mean, at the border, and we kind of position it somewhere in the middle. Now, in order to do that, um, this is what we are going to do. We are going to grab this session um, semantic tag element, and we are going to apply some styling to it. And I think we should rather put it at the very top. So what we are going to say is section. And for section, we are going to give it a margin of auto. And I'm going to say a width of 80% so that it takes 80% of the viewport, but then the margin is auto so that um, it automatically takes care of the margin. So this is essentially what we have. You can see that margins are evenly distributed and everything looks um, great. Now the next thing we are going to touch on is actually to style the various cards and apply the hovering effect and the transition that we saw in the original design. So in styling the card, I'm going to call the card class and I'm going to specify a height of 450 pixels. Then I'm going to say a width and the width I'm going to say 300 pixels. Now I'm choosing a width of 300 pixels so that it conforms with um, what I have over here so that the size of the image wouldn't be um, wider than the size of the card. All right. So now we'll come back here to um, add some few styling to it. But for now, let's stick to what we are doing. And we want to give it a background, um, a background of white. So I'm going to say white over here. Now when I come back here, you can see that this is essentially what we have. Now if we were to expand or change the width, um, let me show you that. Let's say the width um, of 350 pixels. A width of 350 pixels. You can see that the, the width of the card is uh, much larger than the width of the image itself. And that's what we had over here. Or that's what I was trying to show over here. Okay. So we definitely want the width of the card and the image should be the same. But you can see that for the height, the height is 300 over here. But then the height of the card, we are putting it 450 here so that there's some kind of extra allowance over here so that we can style whatever we put in here. So in order to continue with this styling, I'm going to say um, a Kezar of pointer so that whenever I put a Kezar around it, it's going to be a pointer. Now, the next thing to do is to actually um, do that hovering effect that we saw, the transition and the zooming in and the zooming out. Now, we are going to do that actually on the images itself. Okay. So this is what we are going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here and add an overflow of hidden so that any overflow will be hidden as far as the styling is concerned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say transform and for transform, I'm going to say transform origin. Now I'm going to say 50%, 50%. So this is what is going to happen there. Transformation is going to start 50%, 50%. That means it's going to be 50% um, horizontally and vertically. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say transition. And for the transition, I'm going to say transform. I'm going to transform one second. Then I'm going to filter 0 0.4 seconds. Then we are finally going to ease out. So let me choose ease out. 
the next thing we need to do is to actually copy this and add the hovering effects to so control C. When I come here and do a hover. So this hover is actually going to be on the image and that's why you put the image after it so that it takes effect over here. So when I do this, I'm going to say transform and I'm going to say scale. And I'm going to specify 1.2 over here. So now when I save this and come back here, you can see that when I hover around it, you can see that we have that effect that we saw over here, that transitioning effect. All right, so in moving forward, we need to style our, um, our icons over here and the rest of the things up there. And in order to do that, we need to go back and see the names we give them. So for instance, we have bio over here, so I can grab bio. And for what you are going to do with bio, What you are going to do with bio, you can put out bio over here. And for bio, I'm going to say text align center. So text align center, that means you have everything to the center. Now the next thing we are going to work on is um, these social icons over here. Now in order to do so, there are a couple of things um, we should look at, but then I'm going to show you later on. Now we need to grab this social icon and give it a position because it's on the card. So I'm going to say social and for position, I'm going to say absolute. Now this absolute and I'm going to say bottom zero. Now this absolute is definitely going to be at the very bottom of this page. Okay. The entire page. And we need to say that no we want it relative to this card so we need to go and give the card a position of relative so that the absoluteness of this um, social class or social media icons is going to be relative to the container they find themselves in so all that i'm going to do is i'm going to come back into this card and i'm going to say position relative now when i say position relative save and come here you can see that we have our social icons right over here. Now, it doesn't matter if we change the height of the card, it's still going to be in this particular position at the very bottom. So if you should change the height of the card to about, um, let's say 850 pixels, you can see that it is still going to be at the bottom because it is relative to the card. I'll go back to 450 pixels over here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the bottom over here to 10 pixels then i'm going to do a left of 12 pixels then finally i'm going to do a transform translate now this has to do with the positioning i'm going to say zero and negative 50 percent so when i do this and save and come back here we are going to see them very soon. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to grab this social icon over here and apply some kind of general styling to all the icons we find ourselves. So we have in all the icons we have in there. So as far as the social icon is concerned, the class, we are going to give it a pattern of 10 pixels, 20 pixels for the top and bottom and for the left and right. So that we have it kind of spaced out this way. Then our next thing that we are going to do is we are going to give it a margin of auto. I'm going to give it a color of white so that everything is white. But then if it is white, then that means we can't see. But then the background colors are going to pop things up when we start them individually. So in order to start them individually, um okay so i need to change a whole number of things so these classes you see over here we have fb over here this fb is actually a custom class i am making so that i can specifically style facebook so for instagram i'm going to do ig and i'll do twitter over here as tt and finally for google i'll do geo 
all right i'm going to change it each and every one of them so that we get along very quickly so we are done with changing the names over there so what we can do is to come inside and for instance if we want to style face we can just say fb and as far as the facebook um, is concerned or the facebook icon is concerned we only give it a background and for background facebook you are going to see or you are going to choose this color and it's going to be a very deep blue so zero zero um six two ff so this is going to be the facebook blue color and that's what you have over here okay so you can see that all of them have facebook that's why you see all of them having this particular color now in order to start things up over here we can also give it a border radius of 10 pixels so border radius is 10 pixels as we see over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy this Control c Control v for the other um classes as well so i can have tt for twitter i can have ig for instagram i can have geo for google but then you can see that they are all going to have the same color and that's not what i want okay so for each and every individual one i'm going to choose a different color so for twitter i think i choose the dark color for ig the color is going to be ff00 b3 all right and for google the class or the color is going to be ff000 d and that's the color we have over here so basically these are the colors that we used and the transition is taking place over here as you can see now i realize that these items are not positioned the way i wanted them to position so that they kind of looked um a little bit skewed to the left i want them to position uh, pretty much in the center and i think the problem i'm getting is somewhere here and it has to do with the um social class itself because that's where the positioning is happening and i think what i should have done was to do 12 percent instead of 12 pixels so when i do 12 percent and see we can see that they are pretty much centered so as you can see we can test for the responsiveness of this website now in order to do so we are going to change the screen sizes and you can see that the smaller the screen gets the different layouts that we have but um i think there's a little bit of a problem over here you can see that the gap over here is wider than what we have here and if we should open things up it doesn't look good okay so i think it has to do with something i probably missed out and let's go and check so now this is actually going to be somewhere around the card because it is the positioning of the card that's giving us the problem so if we should come back to the card as you see it over here let's give it a margin of auto so that it automatically fix itself as far as the margins are concerned so when we do this and we are to check for responsiveness you can see that this time around the layout everything looks uh, pretty much um the same as far as um its entire outline is concerned now you find this tutorial very useful there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambro tech and click on the notification button so that you get notified anytime i release a video and also, kindly share with friends and family who find this content very useful. At Cambridge Tech, we say learn programming. You can do it. Bye-bye.